Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. Today is the 4th of January 2012. Welcome to what is uh, going to be an awesome year. And I want to start off with a video um, that I've been planning to make for a while, actually since I first got the 15-inch MacBook Pro, regarding the screen resolution upgrade. If you're planning on buying a Mac 15-inch, um, you will have noticed by this point that there's two available screen resolutions that you can choose from. There's the standard 1440 by 900, which is a great resolution. It is 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Um, I should actually preface, this video needs to be watched in 1080p. In the YouTube player in the bottom right, you'll see it'll probably say 480p or 360. Uh, even if you're on 720, go ahead and scale it up to 1080. It may take a little bit longer to load, uh, but you will understand uh, better um, the different resolutions that you can have. So the basic one is what comes standard with the 15 inch screen, 1440 by 900. It is a nice improvement over what comes with a 13 inch MacBook Pro, which is 1280 by 800. It's kind of small. Um, the differences in resolution that you can get between different resolutions is pretty vast. Right now, the desktop you're looking at is 1080p. This is a very standard 16 by 9 widescreen display. Most TVs use it, computer monitors, not necessarily laptops, but most desktop monitors, anything bigger than about 17 or 18 inches, you're going to find in 1080p. Um, the beauty of this is HD video, HD resolution content in general is going to take up the whole screen. You're going to have one pixel in video format for each pixel on the screen. So it's going to be as clear and as crisp as possible, at least as um, to what our technology allows today. There are greater resolutions, 1440p found on the 27 inch iMac the cinema displays or the Thunderbolt displays now. And those are phenomenal resolutions as well. But the 15 inch baseline resolution is a little bit smaller. Essentially, larger resolution is gonna give you a lot more desktop real estate to work with to be able to look at different content. I can open up two instances of Safari and put them each in a corner of the screen and see two complete web pages with very minimal horizontal, horizontal scrolling. This can be really productive, give you a lot more surf, a lot more real estate to look at content. Um, whatever you're looking at, watching a movie, you want to have Twitter and different things open on your display, you're going to have more room with greater resolution. With greater resolution comes, obviously, uh, more cost and higher quality because your DPI, or dots per inch, are denser. The iPhone screen resolution is 326 dots per inch. That's very high. That's Your, your eye can only see 300 uh, pixels in a square inch. Um, computer monitors are nowhere up in the 300s. I think they're still in the 100s right now, most of them. Um, so it's not going to be as clear. You can get up to it and actually count the different pixels if you get real close and stare at it. Don't recommend doing it. Anyways, um, so this is what a 1080p monitor looks like. Now, throughout the video, I'm going to have some different screenshots of a desktop in 1280 by 800. I'll put that up now. This is what a 13-inch display looks like. You're not going to have a lot of room to do things. You can't really put things side by side. You're going to just see a little bit of it unless you zoom way out of a web page. So if you want to do video editing and having maybe multiple documents open at the same time and looking at content, the 13-inch display and resolution is not going to be the best way to do that. Naturally, it's a smaller screen. The 15-inch, the standard resolution, 1440 by 900, which you see now, is a great resolution um, to have more space. You have more space for video editing. You can see more of what's going on without having to scroll and move around. Um, photo editing in Photoshop or making stuff in Photoshop or the Adobe Suite in general is going to be much easier with a higher resolution display as you can see things um, in, in not only higher quality, but there's just more to be seen. Now the update, or the upgrade rather, for the 15 inch MacBook Pro, you can get 1680 by 1050, which is what I have chosen to do. It's not a 16 by nine resolution, neither is any as the 13, 15, or 17 inch MacBook Pro. The only 16 by nine aspect ratio screen that Apple makes right now is the 11 inch MacBook Air, which has a screen resolution of I think 1366 by 768. So anyhow, um, the 1680 by 1050 adds about a third more, or 33% more screen real estate to your display. That's going to be a lot nicer when working with photos, when working with videos, when doing anything. And that upgrade is, I think, $100. And if you're going to do something that would require more screen resolution, it is definitely a worthy upgrade. I love the display. It's very high quality. It actually has dear, higher DPI than my 23-inch Asus display here in 1080p. So if I were to open a document, you can't see this in the YouTube video, of course. But if I were to open this Finder window and drag it over on my MacBook Pro display, it looks much. It looks like a much higher resolution on the MacBook Pro display due to the higher DPI. The colors look better as well, but that's just due to a higher quality display. Apple makes better displays than Asus does. So is that display upgrade worth it for $100?
If you have the $100 and you're going to do that kind of work, working with Final Cut Pro, multiple Word documents, Photoshop, if you're a designer, a producer, an editor, anything more than just doing emails and playing with iTunes and talking to people on Facebook, then yes, this higher resolution display is greatly going to increase your productivity and it'll definitely ease on frustration. I know with video timelines, if you want to zoom in and be accurate with different clips or do some editing, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to have all that extra real estate. So is it worth it, depending on the type of user you are? Yes. Those are my thoughts. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will mention that the 17-inch has a much higher resolution yet. It's actually beyond 1080p. I believe it's 1920 by 1200, and that would be the 16 by 10 version of um, the 1080p standard. So you're going to have a little bit of black lines on the side because there's 1200 pixels in the 17 inch versus 1080p. You're losing 120 pixels or so. So you're going to have 60 pixels on each side if you're going to watch a 1080p movie. Um, but most likely, if you're going to go with a higher resolution display, you're going to do more than watch movies. Uh, so just my thoughts and comments on that. I hope this helped. Leave me some comments below. Let me know what resolution you're working with and uh, if you like it. And I'll talk to you uh, in a video that I'll make tomorrow on Thursday, the 5th of January. Again, Happy New Year. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.